When you read the book of Psalms 103 verse 1 and 2 and other verses. One it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. I repeat, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name too. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Hmm. Verse 17. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to children's children. 18. To such as keep his covenant and to those who remember his commandments to do them. Wow, what a powerful scripture. May our souls bless the Lord. Just like David here was saying, my soul bless the Lord because, you know, it's easy to bless the Lord with your lips, with ways, but your mind is not there, your soul is not there, your spirit is not there. May we do it fully. David, when he continues, is saying, and all that is within me, with all that is within us, let us bless the Lord, let us serve the Lord, let us glorify his holy name his holy name is jesus christ let us lift his name high and lift it up as it has been exalted let us bless the lord with all that we have with our cars with our houses with our money with our time with our time, the most important treasure that we have. Because sometimes it's easy to say, Lord, I tithe, I give my offering. Lord, I allow home sales in my home. Lord, I transport saints using my car, but you don't give God your time. May you bless the Lord with your time. Spend time with God. Want to know more of Him by spending more time of God. Bless the Lord with all that you have. Oh, my soul, bless the Lord, all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Oh, the Lord is good. The Lord is gracious. Oh, we are so blessed to have God who is so good. People out there, they serve idols. Gods that do not even speak, they don't even respond. But our living God is alive. He answers. May we not forget. David says, while I, while I bless him, let me not forget his benefits. Because there are benefits to saving God. There are benefits to being a child of God. We are, you know, we, we are protected. A lot of people, they go through things out there. But we know that we have the covenant with the living God. We are not afraid. We are blessed. Whenever when we ask God, our God answers. Oh, these are his benefits. May we not forget when God blesses us. When God blesses you with that marriage, with that car, with that house. May you not forget what God has done in your life. Because I see, ah, I see this uh, a lot. I see this a lot. Saints tend to forget what God has done in their lives. It's easy to, to seek God, to spend time with God when you are in need. But when now you start to say, I do not lack anything because God provides for me. You forget even to spend time with God. You can't even spend 30 minutes with God. May you not forget 
all that God has done and continues to do for you in this lifetime. May you continue to remember and bless the Lord and give credits to God. Give Him all the glory because all that you have it comes from God. All that you've asked for, some of the things you, you asked God for, I mean, 10 years ago, 5 years ago, do not forget. It comes from God. I know it's easy to forget. He's saying, ah, my brother helped me with this. My sister helped me with this. Well, newsflash, God uses people to reach you. Remember all his benefits. There is a danger in forgetting. The moment you start forgetting, you give credit to the wrong people. You'll give credit to the world. You'll give credit to your friends. Where else all this goodness and mercy is coming from the living God that you should be blessing at all times. At all times, bless His holy name with all that is within you and all that you have. Ah, seventh thing it says, the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting. Continuously, we continue to experience His mercy. And here is 18, it says that, To such as keep His covenant, and to those who remember His commandments, to do them. Remember God's commandments, to do them. Don't listen to God's way to write some notes and also to don't listen and don't hear so that you can tell the next person. But hear so that you can do according to what he commands you, to what he commands. When you hear the word of God say, Lord, speak to me. Listen to respond. And this is the message that God has placed in my heart to tell you today. Listen to respond. When you listen to God's word, when you hear God's word, when you keep God's word, keep his way to respond. In other ways, keep his way to, to do according to what he commands you. Because we live in a time where now everyone, he is or she is in a rush to, to deliver what God has placed in their heart. But then they forget that, you know what, that way was placed into them so that they can also do according to what the word of God is saying. When God is speaking to you, it's not only for the next person, but it's also for you. When God drops this word into my heart, it's also for me to say, hey, when you hear the word of the Lord, listen and keep that way to respond to do according to what God is saying God is looking for people for a generation that is going to respond to his word in this time it's high time that we do not only become the hearers of the word of God but will respond we will keep his word and will act upon it listen to respond to the way of God be blessed.